What's up everybody, it's Boy Kenny. Now we have 15 amazing secrets in the Shadow of the Ear Tree DLC for Elden Ring. Um, it's a very interesting video. Let's go to the video. Extremely well hidden secrets. Okay. For example, there's a secret cross in the Bellarat Tower settlement. Or what? Where you find the congregation here. You can actually jump down onto this piece of rubble and go through a hidden door. Here you'll find where Mikola abandoned his sinistral arm, as well as the usual Shadow Tree fragment. Oh. And here you can also find a talisman that increases your attack power by 20% for 30 seconds. Yo, 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 yo Bandai, you just hiding this from us? This has extremely good synergy with certain spirit ashes. For example, some spirit ashes summon multiple spirits, and whenever one of these dies, you get the buff. Or better oh. yet, you can summon multiple spirits with the Soul Jars Spirit Ashes, which actually commit Sudoku all by themselves. So you get the buff whenever one of them does that. Oh, really? Or even better, in my opinion, you can summon the Skeletal Ashes, like the Militiamen, and when these die, you get the buff, but they can resurrect themselves, helping you to keep the buff active as they continue to die and resurrect. Wait, so I get the buff the and they can come this back to life? Talisman. Wait, Speaking I can of spirit do that? ashes, let me show you how to unlock a really good one. So there's a back and forth oh, I like this guy. between Teolier and more that leads to you getting Teolier's concoction, a brew which concocts even the oldest of dragons to sleep. And you meet one such dragon early in the Jagged Peak. They put the dragons to sleep? Every night for going sleep to lend strength to her lord, Placidusax. May it grant you sleep. In your place beyond time. However, if you slip Florisax, Teolier's potion, during this time, she'll sleep for about 24 in-game hours, and Placidusax abandons her for this. Now, afterwards, you won't be able to get any more dragon blessings from Florisax, but after killing Bale, she'll pledge allegiance to you instead, and oh. you'll be able to receive her spirit ashes. She's a great NPC spirit ash if your build utilizes lightning damage, as the weapon she wields has a skill that increases enemy vulnerability to lightning. How come nobody told me this? Percent. And she's actually one of the only spirit ashes that actually has a voice line. For my noble lord. Now, by doing her quest in this way, you'll also she's talking to me with a powerful defensive lightning buff called Dragon Bolt of Florisax. But Unfortunately, taking this path locks you out of getting both her weapon and her dragon form, which what? are the usual rewards for killing Bale, so this is something you should do on New Game Plus, if anything. Well, so you're telling Next, me our, our lives could have been easier with, with these information? new bell bearings hidden in hanging pots around the world. Okay. The one you'll likely want most is the String Seller's bell bearing which can be found in a pot just west of Prospect Town. Right, String you got Bandai so just hiding fun, stuff. But with this, String can be infinitely purchased at the Twin Maiden Husks, which enables you to easily craft the drawstring weapon buffs, which are great for maintaining weapon buffs during long boss fights. Another essential component of weapon buffs are Knot and Root Resin, which can also now be purchased infinitely with the Greasemonger's Bell Bearing in a pot south of the Church District High Road side Bro, of Grace. how did you find this, bro? Hey. Next, go to the Rivermouth Cave side of Grace, head west, and look up. No, 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 this no, 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 no. unlocks mushrooms and red flesh yeah. mushrooms. Yeah, bro, they're hiding, the bro, they're hiding stuff too. No, recipes. no. For white flesh and toxic mushrooms, go to the Elak River downstream side of Grace and break the pot in front of the waterfall. Bro, you gotta go south Unlock here, make a left, make a right. Head south of the pillar path waypoint side of Grace and look for this pot. Yo, Bandai, bro, we, we gotta have words or something. I can't lie to you. Finally, head northeast from the Recluses River downstream side of Grace. Break the pot, drop it. Because down, nobody's noticing that, though. Like, flight. nobody's. Nah, Bandai, Next, we gotta have words, bro. There are three places that I know of so far where you can duplicate remembrances in the DLC. One is fairly obvious. It's located here, just outside of Manus Meta. Okay, you can but see that one. The others are kind of easy to miss. For example, ride through the Finger Ruins near the Cerulean Coast and head off to the right of the path here and look for the coffin. The last one can be found on the. Oh, these fingers! Oh, I hate them! I hate them! 
I hate these fingers. It here. Ew. Oh my Fimbified. god, they make me itch, If bro. you've been having trouble taking out multiple Smith script golems in the Lava Forges, the best tip isn't actually to hit them in the back, it's to use crystal darts instead. These will cause the golems to malfunction, essentially, and they'll attack each other just like any of the other golems in game. Before really? I, on, I want to quickly say that I have some new merch. It's oh. a hoodie with great fabric quality and the design on it is a great sword. Okay. That's it. That's the merch. The Moonlight variant is only going to be available for a limited time. Okay. And it looks clean. It looks clean. It looks clean. The blade actually have a hidden message. Yeah, what does that mean? Check it out if you want to support the videos and get some fashion in return. Okay. Next, there's something I else in the more ruins. Hey man, I can't wait to start my merch, man. Very important. Hey, I'm going to be if selling out merch, bro. Listen. Pathway, which bro, y'all going to be one of the fight over my merch. And beyond that, basically the entire northeast section of the DLC. But before we move on, there's something bizarre in this village that I haven't been able to figure out the lore for yet. It's this giant shed snake skin. They're like, uh, they're like what's his name, Snake? What is this thing? Mimir Snake. Have something to do with Mesmer. Oh, Mesmer, my bad. Mesmer. This serpent looks very different to his abyssal serpent. This model actually looks a lot more like the serpent god, or even Igle, in the temple. But then, does this snake really have a connection to those characters, all the way from the realm of shadow? I've got some theories, and I'll keep trying to puzzle this one out. I mean, like you just said of this skin, you like you just said of this skin, so like, as well. he's probably still Next alive. Time, more. Things bring joy to all. To get the maximum amount of things from him before his quest moves on, there's a certain pest you'll need to find. Now, there's six friendly pests found throughout the world. Friendly? They all give you forager cookbooks when interacted with, but a couple are a bit trickier to get because the pests are injured. For these, you drop a sun warmth stone or a warming stone by them, then reload the game after they're healthy and then oh. interact with them. If you heal the pest, by the Church of the Crusade in this way, then more will be appreciative, and oh. he'll give you a seventh rare cookbook. Oh, nice! This cookbook comes with the ability to craft spirit raisins, which give Torrent a consumable charge attack, which is oh. borderline useless, unfortunately. But it also lets you craft charming branches, which can turn a group of enemies friendly. So that is an extremely useful. But he's just poison ivy them. <laughs> Once you safely have this cookbook, the fastest way to get Moore's armor, shield, and bell bearing is to tell him to remain sad forever. After this, he'll pass away, cradling his friend's dead body. Oh no, 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 bro! You can keep your armor, bro. Keep it. Alternatively, that's you can messed kill up. A pest, and he'll invade you. And when he does. He's not bringing joy. This thing, you know what? Cannot be forgiven. Man, I'd rather him fight me Next, than go out like that than go out sad, bro. With the shield I'd rather him fight me, bro. To defeat these, you just have to fight fire with fire, literally. Get up high and throw a furnace or fire pot into their giant. Smash throwing bombs into the stove. By the way, if you need more Shadow Tree fragments, uh -oh. you're not just limited to field items. Hungry, Some hungry hippo. Bellies of these hungry, hungry hippos. These hippos are located here, here. Oh my God! Come here. And here. For this next secret, you might have noticed that I've started saying "shadow tree" different in my videos, and that's because I've seen a lot of commentary going around regarding its correct pronunciation. This is Apparently, correct. the word "shadow" comes from Old English and means shade. Or shadow. Wait, this so is wait. This is a shadow tree. Wait, well, I've been saying it wrong. <laughs> shadow tree. Wait, I've been or shadow tree. I guess that's fine. Wait, I've been saying it wrong. Makes sense. It sounds oh. a lot better than saying skadu all the time. So wait, I was very happy to. Have I been saying the title of the game wrong? Oh Next, man! If you looked at the map and saw this island and wondered if you can get to it, you can. Oh, there's a secret path right off on the western side and. It's underneath this cemetery. Yo, Banda, why are you be hiding okay, stuff from yeah. us? Like, what's up the with you? Like, you want to fight or something? Like, the island. Inside the mausoleum is the dancer of Rana, oh. who, in my Rikard lore video, I recently speculated might be related to Tanith, because Tanith is a former dancer from a foreign land. And luckily, it seems those speculations were on the right track. 
Thanks yeah. to Sully the Witch, we now know that the Dancer of Renar shares over 90% of her face data with Tanith. How did you get this Thus, information? Tanith is almost certainly related to her in some way. Are they probably Perhaps cousins or something? Renar is the foreign land that Tanith was from before Rikard. Yeah, they're defo cousins. They gotta be Next, cousins. This painting in the northeast of the Gravesite Plains is unique because it shows a place you can't see yet, and thus you can't get the reward until this place is revealed. Wait, so what? So how are we progress the main quest line until oh. that happens? But if you're interested in getting there, head to this location in the lower ruins area and break the spirit spring stones just up this path. Head up this massive bluff and at the top you'll find a mausoleum fight and of course the painter who gives the spiral tree seal which increases the power of spiral incantations. Next, we've shown this old woman before. Scorpion Stew. talked about how returning to her wearing the lion's head will give you a new incantation. Yeah, I, did, I noticed. But if you return again, she'll have made you a delicious scorpion cooked stew. Oh, and no. you can keep returning to her for more of this stew since it does give you a I promise you, I'm not eating nothing if you that. Return no. After killing Mesma, you'll receive an even better stew. I have prepared a dish in celebration. Oh no, she likes your poison me. Much if thou might partake. Are those crab legs? The What's that? This stew gives off is also really small, and it seems you can't get more of this one even if you wanted to. Now the real secret with this stew is that if you take the first meal to Horn Scent, then he'll have a gift for you. Take this for your troubles, won't you? I desire not to be in your debt. Furnace Visage. 14, okay. Did you know that there's a difference between NPCs summoned inside and outside the boss fog gates? Wait, what? Summoning NPCs outside the boss fog will scale the boss's HP up dramatically. Wait, what? Whereas if the summon sign is inside, you actually don't have to worry about anything changing. I think this is to encourage some interactions with important NPCs that have flavor dialogue. But, but how is that fair, though? <laughs> though? Some NPCs summoned outside the arena do also have things to say after the fights. Too. Oh, hold up. Freya is one example. That was a fine battle indeed. It heartens me that another warrior stands among us. Oh. Among the beckoned. Oh, if you thank you. Appreciate it. Secret. And it's I try my best, you know. I just like little pets for the smith script golems. Lots of people have Oh no, nah, that man touching nothing but fire. This interaction is found in the second lava forge in the northwest region. He touched a fireball. And this is one smith script golem that you don't want to hit. Oh no, I'm hitting him. And I'm taking him down. Watching. Check out the great sword merch. Hey man, hey. Limited edition version as well if you need a hoodie and I'll see uh, you, you know, hey man, hey man, nice merch man. What was it great sword? Hey, you Hey, you never know, man. I might pick me up something, man. Shout out to this guy. I never reacted to uh, none of his videos before, but I was like, you know, man, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to look for some Elden Ring type of type of videos, and I'm, you know, I found his. Shout out to him. Uh, I'm gonna definitely subscribe to his channel because his his voice is definitely um, his voice is very like pleasant to like hear. I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of things that I did learn. Bandai, I did learn that you're just hiding stuff away from us. I, I, bro, Bandai, I promise you, you had something away from us again, bro. We're gonna fight, man. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel before you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.